So with ketogenic diets, uh, we did see, we published a case series that looked at uh, folks that had obesity but also binge eating disorder. And we saw a decrease in depression scores. We saw um, the binge eating severity in, in terms of number of episodes and frequency also decrease. Yale food addiction scale um, decreases as well. And even obsessive thoughts about food. The patients had complained about, I'm always thinking about food all the time. And things started changing with the diet that it became a little bit easier for them not to necessarily focus or hyper-focus so much on the food. So the Yale-Brown obsessive compulsive scale was uh, one we saw that major improvement for one of the cases here. So Ashley Gearhart, and, uh, who developed the Yale Food Addiction Scale, and I had multiple conversations about this. Um, so we wrote this review paper uh, exploring the theoretical mechanisms um, as to why a diet devoid of ultra-processed food could actually, in fact, or a ketogenic diet could actually, in fact, alleviate those eating disorder symptoms, such as binge eating. And our main argument here is that avoiding consumption of these foods actually prevents this cycle of the rapid spike in glucose, <clears throat> rapid spike in insulin change, and that prevents the mesolimbic dopamine reward pathway from being primed, which also prevents the excessive hunger cravings or the binge eating that ends up, you end up avoiding. In addiction, there's this idea that when you have a rapid shift in concentration, that it primes the dopamine reward pathway. So this is another mechanism as to why we think that is helpful. 